Hey Katie, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me today and requesting your free video. So today we're going to go over a few tips that you can apply right away. That's really going to help with your online presence and generating more leads. Now it's important to note that nearly 70% of your organic leads are going to come from this website. So it is really important that your website be properly optimized so you can capture that traffic. All right, so uh, we have a nice looking website. I like the um, click to call feature. That's really good. You want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to reach you. Um, I did notice, however, you don't appear to have any service pages. You really need a separate page for every individual service that you offer. That's going to allow you to build content around those services and to be found organically for each of those services. So let's see here. Um, we got a little bit of content. Let's see, these are not separate pages either. They just take you to the service page. Um, a little bit of content. I am not seeing any local buyer intent keyword usage. Um, so Google does not rank websites based on appearance. You're ranked based on content. Content is key and you need a lot of it. You need a minimum of 1500 words of content on your homepage or more, depending on what your competitors are doing. If your competitors have more content, you need more than they have. And this content should be like a mini summary of each of your services. Um, and built around your local buyer intent keywords. Those are the keywords people are actively searching on Google right now in Huntsville for your services. So that's going to be really, really important here is to work on your content and keyword strategy. Um, you want to make sure that all of your pages, one, that you have a separate page for each individual service, and that each of those pages have their own original content and their own keywords that they're targeting. Um, you don't want to target the same keywords on multiple pages because you're going to run into keyword cannibalization. And you don't want duplicated content because Google will penalize you for it. So it is really, really important. Your content is key and you need to make sure that you have the pages and you have the content focused on those keywords. And it says that you're servicing Huntsville and the surrounding area. So if you are servicing multiple cities, I would seriously consider adding service area pages. Any city that you service that has search volume for your services really need their own page so that you can be found organically in each of those communities for your services. Now, if we look at your top competitor for water damage in Huntsville, we have Puro Clean. And yes, they are a franchise. Um, but with franchises, uh, franchisees rarely can make any modifications to these pages, um, which usually puts you at an advantage because you have the opportunity to add as much content as you want and you can focus on the keywords that you want and really dial in on that keyword strategy whereas franchisees don't have that luxury and so if they want to rank for keywords that are not showing on their pages they have to work three and four times harder to do that um so uh, franchises are actually super easy to beat because you're not competing against the franchise as a whole. Only that one location page there. Um, and so these guys do have a, quite a bit of content. 
So you will have to have more content than they do and make sure that you really dial in on those keywords, remembering that not everybody Googles the same way. And so you're gonna see a lot of variations of similar keywords and you wanna capitalize on that so that you can start grabbing that organic traffic and converting them into customers. And then you're gonna to wanna to support your website with SEO because a website without search engine optimization is not gonna be found online. If we look here, your website has a score of zero out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google does not trust your website. It's 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. These are very, very important, but not all are created equal. This is like a popularity contest with Google. So you want the most relevant websites linking to you. And you want to make sure that they're do follow so they share the power of the high ranking sites and help you to rank faster. If we look here, only four of yours are do follow. So you only have four backlinks doing anything remotely to help your website. And you've only been indexed for five keywords. So you're getting zero traffic to your website. Um, and so it's going to be really, really critical for you to optimize your site so you can capture those keywords and start being found organically and converting them into customers. Looking at your competitor, we don't care how their website is performing. You're not competing against the whole website, just their one page. And their one page has a rating of a 20 with 45 backlinks. So that goes to show you not all are created equal. And these are pretty good, powerful backlinks. But only six of those are do follows. So you need to beat their six referring domains. And they have been indexed for 34 keywords, but they're only getting 38 people to this web page per month. So they're going to be super easy for you to beat, but you do need more backlinks than they have and of better quality, and you need to attach them to your keywords. Um, so work on your content and keyword strategy and attach those backlinks so you can start ranking to the first page of Google. And then the last part of that is going to be your Google My Business section here. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section because 30% of people search here and don't search anywhere else. So when you're not listed in the top three, you send all those leads to your competition. Now, in order to be in the top three, there are several factors, including how your website performs. But the most important are going to be citations, and that's the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp and Yellow Pages. So you're going to need a lot more of those than your top competitor. But when you follow each of these tips I've provided you today, your website has the opportunity to be number one across Google in your service area for each of your services using those local buyer intent keywords correctly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and I would really like to get your feedback. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.